In the real world, we generally have two types of measurements. Measurements which are a range of continuous values, and measurements which are a finite range of discrete values. For instance, temperature is continuous. Between one degree and another degree, there exists an infinite number of possible values, and we decide how precisely we want to measure that continuous range of values. Whereas counting the number of times you flipped a light switch, either on or off, on a given day, is a discrete value. It's finite, it's exact. For temperature, we can say it's 12 degrees, but the exact measurement can be infinitesimally precise. But I'd be surprised if you said on a given day you flipped the light switch 0.130723948723 times. Now let's say I instead ask you to give me a temperature reading of something at 12 p.m. on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and to round your measurement to the nearest degree. Can you see now how we have converted a range of continuous values into a finite range of discrete values? This is, in a very, very broad sense, the underlying principle behind quantization. Now, without getting too detailed into like digital signal processing, I just want to state in general terms, quantization means taking a range of continuous values, perhaps from a continuous signal, and converting it into a finite range of discrete values. Uh, in the context of music, the continuous signal may be an audio recording, MIDI recording, or live MIDI data being sent while the track is playing. The finite discrete range might be a fixed rhythmic division. For example, the nearest quarter note division in a bar. Remember that time is a continuous variable. Between one second and the next, there are an infinite amount of distinct measurements in between. But if I were to say only map to every 16 notes length within a bar, that is definitely a finite range of discrete values. If you're still confused, don't worry, I'll give you a practical example in Ableton and it should more or less explain the rest. So I've got my MPK Mini plugged in here and I've got it hooked up to a simple piano instrument. Um, Let's just go ahead and create a new MIDI clip on the track that I have. And I'm going to set that length to two bars over here at the bottom. You can see I can actually drag the length and increase it for that uh, clip itself. And so I've got the headphones on. Uh, my MIDI controller is plugged in. Everything's good. The signal's coming in. I can actually observe it here. So what I want to do is I'm just going to press play here on this track. And I want to record my piano playing directly onto it. Um, so I'll go into a more detailed uh, tutorial much later on how to set up recording and stuff. For now, I just want to show you how quantization works and how useful it is. So I'm just going to press the uh, this button right over here. And now uh, this will let me sort of overdub right into the recording. So let's see. So, if I pause that, so you can see I recorded my uh, piano playing directly onto this clip, but I mean, if we zoom into it, you can see that it's not exactly precise. It's not exactly sitting on a grid. And depending on your context, that's okay. A, a lot of times you'll be making music where you want things like guitar or piano uh, to sound very humanized, meaning, you know, not super, super robotically uh, precise. But let's say you wanted this to now become precise. You could, if you really wanted to, manually drag and try to move around the, uh, the mini notes themselves. But thanks to quantization, if we just... We select everything here and we right click and we click quantize. Bam. You see how now all of these notes are fully aligned to the grid. Uh, so let's try it out. If I press play, I'll turn off the metronome. So let's say I wanted to do something similar, but with drums instead, like a drum kit may be synced up to the drum pads over here on the MPK Mini. So actually that's what I've gone and done here, is now I've hooked up 
my MPK Mini to a drum kit, an 808 kit, and I want to have a live looping session, and I want to show you how quantization can help make all of the beats that I'm, or sorry, all of the, the samples that I'm putting in uh, become more aligned and sound totally in sync to the beat. So uh, I've just set my tempo here to 130 this time, and I've uh, turned on my metronome again, and I'm going to just uh, create a brand new MIDI clip by double clicking on this empty slot. I'm going to set the length to two. Oops, just using this trackpad. It's not so great. Okay, and um, so I'm just going to let that play. And you can see the samples I have now are, are as so. And now if I hit this uh, button over here, I can overdub my uh, the beats, sorry, the samples right into this loop. So, as you can see, that doesn't sound too great right now. So let's stop that and let's observe that. That sounds pretty bad. And that is because, oh, let me turn this off. It is super, super out of sync. You can see if we zoom into it, these are not aligned. Uh, it'd be awesome if these uh, notes were aligned to maybe a 16 notes length on the grid. So I can actually select them all again. I can right click and I can hit quantize. And now check it out if I play it. Sounds way better. So, wouldn't it be great if instead of me having to create something that sounds kind of crappy and then select everything and manually quantization uh, quantize it? Wouldn't it be cool if I could just do that automatically? Well, that's why Ableton's so cool is you can actually just go here into Edit and then go to this Record Quantization uh, setting over here and set that to whichever uh, note length that you want to use. So I want to use a 16th note quantization. So if I click that, now I don't have to manually go and pause and pause my session and manually go in and, and, and fix the looping, uh, sorry, fix the, the quantization. It'll actually happen automatically during the session itself. So uh, let's press play again. Turn on overdub. And now check this out. You see how everything that I've put in has automatically been quantized to the 16th notes. And this makes it really fun because now I can just do... So that's just a quick example showing you how useful quantization is. And I guess, you know, this is sort of why I gave you that theoretical background, because now you can appreciate what's going on uh, sort of under the hood to give you this experience of being able to create these beats live uh, and not have to worry too much and still get um, a lot of cool stuff coming out of your system.